here we are again guys good afternoon good evening good morning or good night depending on where in the world you are watching the show thank you very much for watching another episode of q corner showtime live hello guys i can see loads of people in the chat i've got the chat over this side for a moment so i'm, I'm having a little look Hello there, we've got people from across the state, South Africa, Namibia, I remember Des, there we go. Somebody coming back from Nairobi, oh it's Rahim, hello Rahim. I was just with uh, Rahim last week working with the Dream Factory Kenya, uh, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit, we're going to get to there. Um, but first of all, I could probably do with switching over on to this scene, and I wanted that one off. There we go. Um, so how have you guys been? How has your last two weeks been? Um, did you miss us? I'm sure you did. We missed you guys, but you've been sending in comments, which we really appreciate. Thank you for all of the nice comments about uh, the weaving design that we did on the last episode. And if you saw um, last week in between, there was a sneaky little bit of an um, extra video that went out. Um, so if you subscribed, you'll have seen that video. Thank you very much. Oh, some Mexico as well. We've got from all over, Romania and from Middlesbrough here, yeah, just down the road from us. Yeah, Lisa, all of the exotic places. Um, so, yeah, um, what have we got to go through tonight? We've got um, Dom's not with me, as you can tell. Yeah, he's not with me again. He's uh, He's been teaching in Essex on the Magical Party Designs course. So um, that was this one and we should go over so you can see a little bit better on the other screen. Um, so this is the Magical Party Designs, but not just any version of the Magical Party Designs. This was the air filled edition. Uh, so it's been filled, packed full of all kinds of different air filled designs, no helium in sight at all. Um, and uh, he did designs like this fantastic baby boy design uh, using the uh, North Star script there on a 36 inch uh, pearl light blue heart using quick links and chrome I think that looks stunning guys what do you what do you think you think it looks good can we get some hearts can we get some thumbs up yeah, I think it does too. I absolutely love this design. We did it first um, for a girl version when we were working in the uh, the Qualitex Saudi Arabia event. Uh, is that feels like a while ago now, but it was only a few weeks. Um, so yeah, that was a baby boy design. Um, but it's been packed, it's absolutely packed full of different air fill designs. So here's a group photo from today. Uh, Dom just sent it over. He's sorry that he... Um, He's missed this show with you guys, but uh, there we go. Look at that. We've got arches, which is a jasmine arch. We've got Christmas stuff. We've got the champagne bottles. We've got all sorts of different designs. And like I say, no helium was used in the production of these items. I really like them. You like them too? I think so. I think so. Let's go back to there hello i'm back again we could do with one of them in the background ah uh, look it's double trouble yeah it's uh myself and all the way over there mr dante Lungi from brazil by the way of new jersey um we had a fantastic time in kenya getting to teach people that um they haven't had a lot of balloon education there in the past so we get to really get involved at the grassroots level and there was a lot of brand new businesses um, at the event itself which was a big success um, so thank you very much um, with Pioneer Balloon Company the Emerging Markets team thank you guys and also the Dream Factory Kenya um, who is our distributor for the area so we partnered up with them we did this big event and it was a huge success um, but I don't want to show you quite onto that yet i'm gonna uh i said on the last episode that we had the new quarter four products hello to greece as well i can see there hello from greece oh people love the arch and love the trees the christmas tree it's a really nice christmas tree actually um it's a really nice design um if you have the opportunity although that was the only two editions that we were doing um so far of that particular course if it comes along next year um 
get yourself signed up to it. Uh, it's a really nice course. It was the the original Magical Party Designs was very very uh, successful um, around Europe where we taught it, um, and versions that we taught a little bit further afield. But this new Airfield one again, it's a it's a new level, guys. Like I say, no helium, so we love that. Um, yeah, love the Jasmine Arch. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yes. Quarter four product. So Qualitex released an uh, absolutely massive range of new products for uh, quarter four this year. Um, so I said that the last time, send me, some, send me some messages about what you want us to see us play with and we'll see what we can do. Okay, so what we did was um, people liked the idea of the unicorn horn, uh, which let me have a little look. Have I got that on here? I can't see it. I can't see it on here. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to show you in person. So what we did was we took the unicorn, took the unicorn and we put it onto a hairband like this with a couple of little flowers, just chrome. Um, let's get ultra close so you can see that better. There we go. So it's uh, using the chrome purple and a little bit of gold and the 14 inch air filled unicorn horn foil. Uh, let's see if we can do this and look at that it gives us a nice uh, unicorn horn a really easy hairband and I've seen it used on the top of bubbles to create the whole thing um, but we really like this because obviously we had to come from uh, entertainer twister background and it's really nice for uh, entertainers to have something that they can use simply and get it out there as well what we got on there uh, We've got buffering on there, have we? Okay, let's just have a little look and see what we can do on here to see if we have a problem with our internet. What? What's awesome? So adorable. You can see me, can you again? It's sorted. It was think it was me. No, because I think I'm having an issue on this side as well. It's just one of them things. Uh, okay, yeah, refresh your page. Refresh your page. It seems to be okay. Okay, right. So, uh, yeah, it is adorable. I really like it. I'm adorable. Is that what you were saying, Des? I think it was. Um, so, yeah, we really like this. I think it's got many uses. Um, so I can't wait to see what you guys come up with it. But it's so simple. Just two little flowers on a hairband with the air-filled um, unicorn horn. I think that's really cool. Um... Of course I look dead cute. I appreciate it though. Thank you. Um, what else do we have? Oh yes, we have the new baby heads available in 5 inch and also available in uh, quick link. So 6 inch quick link. So we have our smiley baby or our um, sad face baby. Our smiley sad face. Smiley crying. But you get the idea and there's also ones with pacifiers on there uh, and it's super cute so make your uh, babies now with the new print with either the sad or the happy it's double-sided print how cool is that also like i said available in the six inch quick link so you've got, already got a connection on there if you want to do hair and things but i just did this very quick simple wand for the baby I think you can have fun with that. Again, I think it's nice for the decorators and the retailers, but for the entertainers, I think this is super cute. Yeah, you've got you've got some play with that. I'm sure you have. I know I would if I was going out entertaining with these guys. I love it, love it, love it. Uh, what else do we have for new product designs? Yes, a lot of you guys messaged us um, saying that you wanted an idea with the sloth because sloths, or sloths, 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 I'm not sure what's multiple of sloths probably sloths uh, a lot of you guys were saying that you want to see a design using the sloth because the sloth is very uh, on trend at the moment so that's what we did we chose that design and we made the sloth product so what I did was I went on had a little look at the sloth and then took some ideas of what kind of uh, product the range of product that would work well with it and this is what i came up with so uh, i'm going to need to do this 
uh, on this so you can see it better there we go um so it's the main sloth and then also uh, the 18 inch let's party toucan and sloth the obviously the 39 inch um sweet sloth the 11 inch tropical greenery and also the 24 inch elegant greenery deco bubble they were my um, products that i was going to make a design with so what we did was um we took those designs added them together and came up with this design here and i really like it so we put the 18 inch foil inside of the deco bubble we used the 11 inch um we used the 11 inch tropical greenery for the base put the sloth at the top and added a few flowers so yes added a few flowers and that's that those extra flowers remember what we tried to say um inexpensive product plus simple techniques increases our perceived value and that's what we really are talking about on here um, and it's the message that we continue to push you know if you do that it makes you different from your competitors and it makes all of the difference to your work it is super super cute um, if you do decide that you're going to use that uh, design idea really appreciate it if you put some sort of hashtag or tag us in it either on Instagram or on um, on Facebook that would be awesome okay guys uh, let's go back from that to me hey I'm back did you miss me okay so that was the sloth uh, we've also had the hairband with the unicorn design oh it, it was there all along you know what how did I miss it it was right in front of me right in front of me so uh, yeah that was the 14 inch unicorn horn which is air filled only um, yep yeah. what else do we need to go through oh we're gonna do the Kenya so the Kenya review last week uh, I was lucky enough to be teaching in Kenya now for those of you that uh, don't know actually my wife grew up in Kenya for uh, for quite a few years uh, and she's always told me many stories about Kenya and I've been very excited about going there so I finally had the opportunity to go and actually experience the area um, and believe it or not the hotel that we stayed at was right next door to the hotel that my wife used to go swimming um, at when she would visit the kindergarten that was directly opposite it's a small small world um, so we got to share our knowledge and passion with balloons with some very like-minded people it was great fun and what we did was we had loads of pictures loads of videos and I want to um, do a little bit of a mashup here for a small a short video all about Kenya and the Qualitex event that we had there with our partners, the Dream Factory Kenya. Okay, guys, enjoy this video. I will be back very shortly.
Did we enjoy that, guys? How could you not enjoy that? Tell me. Tell me how could you not enjoy that? That was absolutely fantastic. The energy through the whole experience was absolutely brilliant. Uh, it was so much fun and getting to work with uh, not just an awesome teacher, but also a personal friend of mine, Dante, and meeting and making new friends. Um, thank you very much to Jay, Monica, Rahim, and the whole team at the Dream Factory Kenya. Can't wait to see what's to come from you guys, because um, if that event was anything to go by, it is going to be a very, very positive and very, very exciting future. Um, the memories, uh, there we go, Raheem saying there, the memories will live with us forever. Thank you all. Absolutely. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Um, it made, it was, it was brilliant. Thank you very much. Um, okay, guys, uh, let's move on to the next subject. Next subject is the knot lamp. Okay, so it's about making a stand that we can put on air fill displays again, no helium. Um, so we can put on a big three foot balloon and make it secure. Now, um, a while ago, if you remember, if you watched all the episodes, Chris Adamo actually shared with us how he does it with the IKEA knot lamp. Um, and then what happened was I was on a trip to Finland to teach over there and I saw what the guys did there, which was a similar idea, but completely different. And there was benefits to both. So what we did was we took those benefits, we put them together, and then we took a couple of our own ideas as well. And we came up with a new technique. Now, Chris's method requires the use of a power tool. And I know we had some comments about the fact that they don't really like using the power tools in that way. Um, this one is no power tools. The tools that are required for this one, um, let's have a look. Well, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to use another quarter four um, product item, which is the little and big dots. Um, so yeah, the little and big dots in gold and rose gold. So we're going to use that product. Um, and the tools that we use are here. So you can see there's an Ikea knot lamp, um, which includes the top, which is the bit that people often throw away. Uh, it requires some bungee cord. Now this is the elasticated cord that you usually find that have a little hook on either end, but you can actually buy the cord by itself. Um, we used the six millimeter version for this one. Um, a couple of cable ties or tie wraps, uh, if you prefer the American ones, something that you can cut those with, um, and a pair of what we would say mole grips, but also known as locking pliers or vice pliers. That's what you need. Um, uh, it's, uh, and it's really, it's so simple to follow. And we, what we're going to do is we're actually going to make this giant design on there. Now, it's got some tails using um, the tail that's on there is uh, from a foil curtain, like a, um, a plastic, plastic foil curtain um, to cover the pole itself. Um, however, it's actually uh, IKEA pole. So enjoy this video. Let's see if we go on here. Where we go, there we go. Hi, guys. Uh, enjoy this next video, and um, I will see you on the other side of it if you have any questions. Okay, enjoy. <laughs>
there we go guys you saw it what do you reckon it's um it's it's a super close connection and if i can skip over to this one i should be able to show you just how close that connection is so you can see behind me oh this one you can see behind me this is the actual cone of the top of the lamp and you can see how the three footer goes in there and because we use that 16 inch balloon over the top of the cone it's invisible it looks uh thank you very much guys the comments honestly guys um we love sharing stuff like this with you guys and the comments are just brilliant i really really appreciate that thank you very very much um we'd love to see you guys do things with this it actually looks great you know even without the 16 inch on if you just use the black stand and you have the three foot balloons on there i mean the guys in finland um they do uh i mean literally hundreds of these things around in shopping malls and things when they want to put big three foot printed balloons around in the area and the great thing with them as well is that that bungee cord that's in there it makes it very simple for tying so when they collect the stands back up all they do is take it back up clip it off and it's it sits inside next time it comes out bump out put the vice grips on there put your next three foot balloon on with a cable tie let it go inside and it's done and it's done and you don't have to worry about it it's a uh, it's fantastic connection so um so thank you very much uh, to chris adamo and also thank you very much for the guys in finland the jo uh, joanna's team over there um for helping us come up with this kind of our version of it i won't say the finished article because somebody will take it and then make it even better i know they will there's some brilliant people out there but um this produced our version of it uh it is it is a really really neat finish it is guys um you're very you're very very welcome uh, yes, I can see there's loads of chat going up there. I can't read it fast enough. Okay, so uh, we'll move off to that. We shall go back to this um, because it's nearly the end of the show, guys. In fact, I've run over as per usual. Um, so that really, what does that leave us to do? Uh, it only leaves us to do... Um, where is it? I need it to go. No, I need to go under there. I need to go under here. One thing left to do, and that's pop over to this one. There we go. Hello, look, we're doing Mr. Q spinner winner, and I forgot to bring it up in that time. Here it is, Mr. Q's. Spinner winner. What have we got on there? We still got our star prize. Let's have a little look. Let's set it to our star prize. There we go from Premium Balloon Accessories. It is the Micro Air Inflator. Nobody's won it yet. Perhaps today is the day. That's all. Perhaps today is the day. So what I need to do is we need a question. And I have a question for you guys. Now, if you were on the uh, World Tour 2017 at any one of the stops across the world, um you will you might know this question because it was asked and it was certainly asked at many of the stops that i was um part of so you might already know the answer but i think it's a pretty cool question so i'm going to ask you and then you can answer all of the names go into the hat and we pick one out at random they get spin so here's the question guys there it is what is the biggest selling color in the qualitex latex range what is the biggest selling color in the Qualitex latex range? I can see that Dom has dropped in there. Uh, Dom, you've got no chance of winning. Ishani, also, you've got no time, no chance of winning either. Okay. Guys, I need you to do it. What have we got? The biggest selling color in the Qualitex latex range. So I can see there we've got some answers in there. We've got some answers. If you don't know, just have a guess. All of the um, correct answers are getting put into a randomizer um, by our producer, Bob. And um, we're going to do a, a Q corner minute, which is not like any other minute, right? It's just like a kind of, a, it's a bit fluid. It's a bit more relaxed than a normal minute. 
Um, and then, Dom, you're not going to win. Doesn't matter. If your name comes out, we'll draw it again. Same for Ashani. And don't put multiples, because if you put multiples, what happens is it automatically deletes the one before it. So uh, don't put your, put in multiples, Dom. Okay, we're going to do it. And we're going to call it in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that is it. We've called it on the... We have a winner. We have a winner. Who is that? Alina Wolf. Alina Wolf. Very quick, I wasn't quite expecting at that point, but we have it's too late, Zuba. Too late, we have a winner, Alina Wolf. Alina, are you still in the house? I'm guessing you are. Yes, you are. Okay, Alina, you've got a choice is it going to be me or me to spin it? Do you want Keith or Keith to spin? Okay, obviously, it's going to be me. And do you prefer it soft and gentle or hard and fast? Hey, Alina. What we're gonna do, it's me. And you want it hard and fast? Everybody likes it hard and fast. Here we go, we're gonna go for it and we'll spin and good luck. Hopefully you're gonna win the star prize. Here we go, ready? I'm gonna have a little look. And it under there so I can see. It's coming round, it's not gonna be the star prize, but it is number five. The Q Socks, the keyring. And the pen. That's a big winner. Well done, Eileen. If you just send us a message to Mr. Q, if you send your address details, uh, we shall get them to you as, as possible. Thank you very much, guys, for tuning in to another episode of Q Corner. Um, you've got to watch this space because there's uh, some exciting news coming up. Um, hopefully we can deliver it this next week, but there's some exciting news about Q Corner that you're not going to want to miss, okay? So, um, if you want that news first, all you got to do is subscribe and you'll get it right here, okay? So, I'm going to go off there, I'm going to go off there, I'm going to say bye-bye for now, and I'll see you guys in two weeks' time, and I believe, would you believe it, that Dominic and I are going to be in the same place for that episode. So you take care, have a fantastic two weeks. See you soon. Bye-bye.